Hello again and welcome back to another edition of the Wiccan Conservative. I do believe that it would be remiss of me to not comment on the issues that are unfolding in response to Israel and Palestine. You don't have to agree or disagree with anybody on either side, but go back to the concept that you need to remove the idea of religion and, and powerful influences from government. We understand as Americans that these rights are guaranteed to you by your existence. This is what separates Americans and the concept of a constitutional republic from areas like Israel and Palestine. These are the things that we as Americans hear about and are so quick to take sides in order to justify the reasons why we side for those types of actions in our own country. And we can go back and forth on what supposedly happened in an area or what doctrine tells or compels somebody to act in a certain way. But ultimately, at the end of the day, we are very, very close to falling into the same traps in our country. When we talk about the great divide in the education system, when we talk about the LGBT community, when we talk about left or right Democrats or Republicans, we are separating ourselves into two different economies based on the way that people inappropriately direct their projections onto other people. So this whole conflict has me really bringing the values of the American institution back to the forefront, uh, re-highlighting some of the arguments that were made for the separation of church and state. In this particular instance, you're talking about a blood feud, which goes deeper than religion or space. So it's not necessarily for our consumption to fix, but it could be for our consumption to reflect upon. We are very unique in our understanding and ability to allow each other the liberty to succeed upon our own merits. This brings me to another issue that I have with the unfolding of events. We are seeing that the people who are targeted in these particular events of terrorism are people who are unequipped to protect themselves. In our country, it is one of our greatest rights to worship freely and for us to defend that ability to stop anybody from imposing their unjustified will upon us. The fact that we don't have to protect or defend ourselves from these types of attacks just proves to me exactly how well the rights of the people enumerated in our Bill of Rights was crafted. And one of the biggest takeaways that I'm left with for all the international news that I have heard is that you should be prepared, be willing to defend yourself and your property and your family, and being responsible for your own sovereignty, freedom, and self-defense. That's all I have for you guys today. I will catch you on the next one.